But here's Frank in North London. What a load of... Dot, dot, dot. I've just returned from a two-week visit to Israel. Had at least twice a Muslim taxi driver. <laughs> Both strongly told me that as they are law-abiding citizens, they have a great democratic life, says Frank in North London. We'll come back to that, Ilan, in a minute. George, why don't you move to the Middle East? and take all the Muslims and Jews with you. Ha! Here we've got a racist who hates Muslims and Jews. God's chosen people, the white Anglo-Saxon race, should be left in peace. There you are. The Jews thought they were the chosen people. Lots of people have thought they were the chosen people, but David from Swansea tells us it's the white Anglo-Saxon race. Brian texts, George, how about a talk on atheism? It's a good point, Brian. I think we might uh, do that. I'm just racing through these. Vincent says, George, you are anti-Jewish and a fool who should not be allowed to sell your propaganda. And your guest is a traitor to his own people. You see, I'm anti-Jewish, even though you're my friend and you're a Jew. You're a Jew, so you can't be anti-Jewish. You're a traitor. What do you say to these things? Yes, I, I think that uh, I, I, one of the... Uh one of the people, and many like me, more and more like me, who really, in the name of Judaism, criticize what Israel is doing. Not against Judaism. In fact, because of my Jewish identity, because of the f history of my family who survived the Holocaust in Germany, I feel obliged as a Jew to stand alongside the Palestinians against the oppressive policies of Israel. So it's f what we, George, you and I are doing a far a far cry from anti-Semitism, in fact, is a very Jewish, as it is a very universal mission that we have taken upon ourselves. Uh, anti-Semitism is racism. Indeed, it's the foulest strain of racism because it fueled the systematic, industrialized, genocidal mass murder of six million Jews in Europe in the Second World War. The idea that somebody like me who spent nearly 40 years in left-wing politics could be a racist is utterly, utterly absurd. But yet we still get fools like that who reach for that weapon to brand anyone who speaks against the policies of Israel as an anti-Semite and therefore a racist. But I think that's a diminishing currency. It's a currency whose value is uh, diminishing but it's also dangerous of course because what it means this false synonym of Jewish and Zionism uh, is dangerous because the more people hate Zionism if we're being told by these false friends of the Jewish people that actually Zionism is the same thing as Judaism then the will encourage anti-semitism what do you say about Frank in North London who was lucky enough to get a Muslim taxi driver a couple of times in his <laughs> holiday in uh, Israel he says that they're all having a great time what do you say about that well, either he they were really afraid of him <laughs> or they were not Muslims uh, I think uh, very few Muslims uh, in Israel would say that they're having a great time uh, but of course there is a difference uh, between uh, what uh, a Palestinian citizen in Israel goes through and a Palestinian under occupation. Yes. Uh, so he may have met one or two uh, relatively satisfied ones, but basically we have a real uh, a problem um, uh, with regards to the Israeli policies towards the Palestinians, wherever they are. Well, let me send you off to your uh, London hotel with this one. Okay. George, I don't get offended by Muslim women wearing veils. I feel repulsed by it. They should all be made to pray for Ariel Sharon. The greatest spectacle in the world is watching Israeli F-16 fighter planes take off. Instead of listening to imams preaching hatred against Israel, these stupid, misguided, veiled followers of Allah should be made to paint pictures of the Israeli flag and sing the Hatikva, Long Live Shual Mofaz. <laughs> so you thought it was only in Israel that there were fanatics like that, but some of them are in London and listening to this show. But I swear to you, I've been involved in this question since 1975, so 31 years. There are more people in Britain today, far, far more, 
who know the truth about the origins of this conflict and if you don't know the origins you have no chance at all of finding any kind of solution there are far more people in Britain now know the truth than at any time and I think around the world that's true as well so if you ever feel beleaguered and lonely in the uh, in the region of Haifa uh, by that kind of hate mail please know that you have the respect and the love of millions of people around the world who see you and the relatively small number of Israeli Jews like you as the bravest of the brave the people who in the very front line are standing up for justice standing up for truth it's been an absolute honor and privilege to have you on my show tonight your book Ilan Pape the ethnic cleansing of Palestine published by one world publisher in all good bookshops deserves to be read by millions of people in Britain and I hope that it will thank you very much indeed for coming into the show just say a few more words yes. before you go thank you very much uh, George and, and, and I really hope uh, people would read it and understand that this is a, a desperate call almost for the last moment uh, for a solution in Palestine this is not just an indictment of Israel and Zionism this is uh, uh, the the way to understand why so much bloodshed uh, is still being spilled in the, in the Middle East and in Palestine in particular and that uh, we have to call a spade a spade in order to allow both Palestinians and Jews to live in peace together in the Holy Land of Palestine for all of us. Ilan, the best tribute I can pay you is that not a single one of Israel's best friends who normally phone this show had the guts to phone tonight to confront you. <laughs> They're ready to fight me, but they know <laughs> that they're up against Rocky Marciano when they come up against you. Thank you very much. I Thank hope you, you and your missus have a good time in London Thank and that you. your trip goes very well. Thank you very much for all having the best. me here. This too. is George Galloway, the mother of all talk shows.